Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2, Taken. This is Mad Beast. I feel like I'm watching a whole TV show. New York City, three years ago. Okay. See my boy Alan Wake without the beard. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. What's you good, baby girl? On. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go oh, put it okay. on. Damn, they got a luxurious bathroom. Damn. Got a whole tub and a shower. And you got two sinks. Damn. Living the, the life right now. Come on. And the living room is on point. You guys got no TV though? Like, come on. What's wrong with you guys? It should be a giant 70 inch screen right here. Come on. All good though? Let's uh turn on the coffee maker. Coffee's on. Go to Alice. Do that. Oh, hey. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. All right, let's go back to I her desk. I think you get them done this quickly. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. Ah, okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just I forget she, uh... On. Now, please. She's terrified. She has a phobia of the dark. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. 
If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Appreciate it. All right, where do we go? Talk to Sarah. Word, what is this? Have you seen this man disappeared on 62007? I did define features knack for winning contests. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Missing on a campaign trip. Overdue haven't been in contact. Thank you. Okay. It's the wrong way, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Hey, appreciate it. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. At this point, Wait, can I help you, with anything? you probably should have just put that phone on speaker. Sure said I could go out back. Would have been much course, easier. Wake, you can get there through the cell corridor. I couldn't go one. anywhere yet. I had to play along He's with the caller. Regular. Alice's life was at stake. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't Manuscript. Let's In see. spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. A writer like to reveals the world of his story from what darkness, the? shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop... The world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have. Ah, peace out. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh Damn! Easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. 
What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes Damn. a swing at everybody. That's messed this up. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site. Hey, my boy, take a picture. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al. Would you Wait stay here. In the car? Just listen. To Easy me. there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, oh. right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? You can do that. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. All right, let's Max go find the form. Groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone. You here. shot a guy, and his body just the disappeared. Skeleton. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, Wait here. you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Appreciate Tell it. Tell me how to get to Lover's Peak. Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Cool, thanks. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mask. It's right below that. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. Indeed they do. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. That's true, that. Bless all you. right. Oh, no, no, no. Barely any light, man. Barely any light. Head for Lover's Peak. All right. I guess we're, we're off. No type of weapon though. I'm kinda of upset about that. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. <gasps> I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Can I take the car though? Come on. Wait, we have a gun. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. 
but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Oh my god. I knew that was gonna happen, that's why I like charged at it, but Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your gear fest plan? My boy Dr. Nelson, okay. You'll make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> Did I hear footsteps or is, or is this mine? No plan. Really, it's taking me out. Come on, guys. The dark is my friend. The dark is my friend. Lover's Peak, Moonshine Cave, Elderwood Nature Trail. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Huh. Like it's telling the future of what's going to happen. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Oh, damn! What the hell happened over here? Can you hear me? Anyone? Please Hello? help! Back here! I'm back here! Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. This is just a manuscript that I just read. Just the way it was on that page. I found. It came true. It knew. So dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office I, I have the key okay rusty hang on i'll be right back whatever did this couldn't be far rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened Shh. good boy oh my god like a whole damn earthquake. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. This is literally was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and telling us the future. Hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear suddenly afraid to die alone that does not sound good for rusty so batteries okay Too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh! Rusty! Oh my god, I'm doing a bad job! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness.
Reload! Oh my god! Come on! Oh wow, he died by, by the electricity. That's funny. He died by one of those wires. Where's the dog? Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted in Fort Oswald. Who urges a park? Fishing. License. Obey. Oh, hell no, one of the. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never. Oh, come on. Oh! Reload! Let's go. What? Come on, reload. Got five. Oh. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I got three bullets. I can't risk anymore. This is very strange. Very strange. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. For your safety, stay on designated hiking trail. Here we go. Lover's Peak. The light went out. Take some batteries, thank you. Oh, hell no. Oh! Let's go, the other one. Let's go! They're both, all three of them are gone, right? Yes, indeed. What's with this light? Why is everything changing? Checkpoint reached. Guess I was going the right way. Lover's Peak, still going. Nope, I'm... Oh my god, what the... Yo, yo, he just. Oh my god. Got him. Oh my god. Oh, what the? Reload. Oh, I missed. No, oh, what? Okay. Reload, 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 reload.
Oh my goodness. That was probably much harder than it had to be. Oh, hell no! Come on! Leave your boy alone! I don't have that much ammo. I see the light! We're almost there! Oh! Let's go! Maybe if I keep... No! Oh! oh my god! If I keep backing up like this... Now, let's go! No! I need the light! Please tell me. Come on. Open this up. Reload station. On point. With the dodge. Oh my god. Yes! Whew. What is with that light over there? Pick up manuscript. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Sometimes I'm like, what what is going on? I still don't know what's going on. I'm probably gonna die by a bear, I'm telling you, man. Oh hell no, what's going on here, man? Oh come on. That's a big dude. Uh oh. Uh oh, yo, chill, 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 chill. Come on, I, I just gotta give him the slip. Give him the slip. Oh my god. Oh, where the hell did the dude come from? Come on, come on, Cito, keep it going. Get to the light. Get to the light. Get to the light. Yes. Oh my god. They're gone. They're gone. I'll do my calculations. We go here, and then we just a couple steps over here. Then we go. And then we'll make it there. Okay. Not too bad. Shit. Oh, come on. No, oh, what the? Oh! That's the squad right there. Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. <laughs> <laughs> 